Hey guys, we have here our JBL Go 4 and there's already a software update available. So in this video we want to explain to you how to install this on your own portable speaker here. So of course first we have to turn on the Go 4 and connect it to our smartphone. And then we do need the JBL Portable app. So that is available from Android phones as well as iPhone. And as soon as we start this, then within a couple of seconds, the app is going to find here our goal four. And eventually you're going to see here this announcement that the software update is available. And we're going to go down in the list here. We're going to find product information. And here you find an additional entry here for software update, firmware update version which is 5.3.0 and it's going to tell us here what is being um, worked on so uh, updated so multi-speaker connection with JBL Partybox Club 120 and Partybox Stage 320 and then in performance improvements so first we have to make sure we have enough battery left on the speaker and I believe the limit is 50 percent or alternatively you can just plug it into charge just to make sure you're not running out of battery then all we have to do is press the update button and now it's going to transfer the data the new firmware onto the speaker this is going to take about two minutes and we're going to fast forward this here in this video of course you don't have to sit here and wait to uh, for the numbers to go up but one thing you should be noticing is that the uh, led here on the side of the uh, jbl go 4 at this point should be rapidly blinking indicating that something is going on or the new data is being transmitted here to the device. And then once the transfer is complete, <coughs> the speaker looks like it's turning off, but it's actually now updating internally the uh, firmware. So don't try to do anything with the speaker at this point. Wait for it to start back up. So this is going to take just a couple of seconds. <coughs> So this was already it, so now the firmware update is pretty much complete. It's going to reconnect now with our smartphone and also here the JBL portable app. And then eventually we're going to see here the information that the update has been completed successfully. And now we can double check this here in the app. So now we can see here firmware version 5.3.0 and there's no further updates available. Yeah, so this was already it for the video hope you found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below